Now let's design a LabVIEW VI that implements the minimum maximum temperature recorder device. Two primary inputs we have is the or are the current temperature and a button to signal when the min-max value should be reset. Important registers would include the maximum temperature observed since the last time the reset was activated, as well as the minimum temperature observed. Now with this information, we can start forming some register transfer statements. Let me continue that up here. First, let's consider the max temperature value. Max, sometimes, or probably many times, is getting fed with, the, with its own value, so it's simply maintaining the maximum value. Other times, it needs to get fed with whatever the current temperature happens to be. I think that takes care of the two possibilities. We then need to assign some conditions to determine which register transfer statement we actually use. Now, anytime the reset button is active, we want max to assume the current temperature. So we'd say reset is inactive, is associated with our top statement. Now we need a little bit extra on the conditions we would say that any time the current temperature exceeds the maximum value, then max should get fed with that, that current value. So we'll say when current temperature is greater than the, the currently recorded maximum temperature, that condition also causes max to get the current temperature. So the plus symbol here is the traditional Boolean or concept that I'm using. It doesn't mean add the two values. Now in a similar way we can consider the minimum value register. Two possible conditions. Same idea for the reset signal. In this case we modify the condition just a little bit and say that if we observe that the current temperature is less than the minimum uh, recorded temperature, then min gets the current temperature. All right, I've just opened a brand new VI and I've copied in the register transfer statements so we can refer to those easily. So it looks like our inputs are current and reset. The registers are max and min. I'll well, start out by placing the two inputs. I'll use a numerical value for the current temperature and a Boolean control for the reset. Now I'm always kind of thinking FPGA hardware here, so I need to make the current temperature look like an integer. I'll pick the unsigned 8-bit value, which represents 256 possible temperatures, and that should be plenty for our application. Go ahead and place some feedback nodes to serve as the registers. And eventually, I'll be wrapping this inside a while loop, and the initial, or the initializer terminal, I'll just connect that right up to our current temp. So on the first iteration of the loop, current temp will initialize that register. I'll also create some indicators so we can observe the behavior of the max and min registers. Now we need to select between two different register transfer statements. and We do that with the select node right here. we see that two possible Boolean signals are supposed to be ORed together, and those determine whether or not we use the max gets current or max gets max. So the greater than node 
now says generate a true value anytime current temp is greater than the max temp. And I've got an or operation tucked away right there. So we'll bring in the reset signal and or that with the result of this comparison and that operates the selector. Now when this statement is true, we want to select the current temp. Otherwise, we select the presently recorded maximum value. Yeah, I think I've got enough room there. Let's connect that up to maximum temperature and finish the calc or the connection. Clean things up just a bit. It's always nice to get the wire kinks out whenever possible. It looks like I added some up or ended up with some unnecessary complexity right here. Let me scoot things around just a bit. I could do a wire cleanup, except that would tend to choose a path that I'd, I prefer not to use uh, by way of my feedback connection there. I'll probably draw it in some other uh, less intuitive way. To make time advance, we wrap the whole thing inside a while loop, and I'll create a stop control as well as an indicator connected to our loop index and that serves as our indicator that time is moving on. Actually keep track of the number of clock cycles that have elapsed this way. Technically clock cycles could be called loop iteration. It's not exactly the same thing as a true clock cycle on the desktop computer. Well, that's going just a little bit too fast for us to work with. I'm going to insert a time delay that will pace the loop at a much slower rate. In fact, I, I just want to pace the loop at one second. So I'll create a 1000 millisecond delay. Let's try that again. All right, that's a little bit easier to interpret. Let's try putting in a new current temperature. Well, we see max temp follows right along. And it looks like as long as I keep increasing the temperature, max temp keeps updating. Let's drop the temperature a little bit, and we see that max temp is preserved. Go a little bit higher, and it updates with a new value. Let's bring this down just a bit. Try hitting the reset, make sure that feature works. Reset sends max temp right back to the current temp. All right, I think we're doing just fine on the first half of our min-max recorder. Now you see that everything here is really very much the same as the first. So I'm gonna open up some extra space here. I like to keep my delay down by the stop button there. So I'm going to select everything. Now I'm holding Control and Shift and then dragging down. Control to copy, Shift to keep it aligned. I don't actually need these things, so I'll take those out. Because we also use Current Temp and we also use Reset. Looks like we have our notation or indicator for broken wires, so I'll press Control B to clear all the broken wires. And of course, that register is keeping track of minimum temperature. Now the place where I need to make a modification, because everything is essentially the same, is on this node right here. So let's go ahead and do a replace on that. I'll pick the menu item, if I can find my cursor. Replace from the comparison palette with the less than test. I'm 
get that just a little bit closer. And I think we're ready to go ahead and test out the complete design. Okay, current temp. Let's bring that up to a mid-range value here. We see that min temp is staying low. If I continue to drop current temperature, we see minimum temp follows along. Let's bring that back up to somewhere in between. So now we see our minimum and maximum are staying put. Let's go ahead and reset it so they both get copied to the current temp. Looks good.